On the last Sunday of August, Tarlin Church celebrated its 150th anniversary, that is, 150 years since the building was completed and first used in public worship. In order to mark that occasion, we invited the moderator of the Church of Scotland, the Reverend Dr Martin Fair, and his wife, and Martin came up and preached and led the service, making it a very, very special occasion. We also invited Joanna, Marchioness of Aberdeen, to represent the Gordon family, whose contribution to the building of the church was outstanding. So she came and uh, addressed a few remarks to the congregation as well, making the occasion, all in all, very, very special. So I thought it would be quite good to give you a few highlights since uh, we could not have accommodated many uh, more than we did. We Our limit is 50. But it would be good to let the wider village see something of that special occasion. So I've uh, edited the service and uh, included the highlights which now follow. Thanks. Good morning, everyone, Good morning. and the warmest of welcome to St. Mullins on this auspicious occasion of the celebration of the 150th anniversary of the buildings of this church and the occasion of its first use in worship. We are particularly privileged this morning to have with us the very Reverend Dr. Martin Fair, the moderator of the church. Dr. Martin's great and Elaine, his wife, and the super valuable, and also a privilege to have uh, Joanna Marchioness of Aberdeen with us, representing the Gordon family, whose contribution to the life of the church in this community is fittingly commemorated on that plaque to my left and your right on the wall there. We're also very, very pleased to be able to welcome Ian and Isabel Brown. With us this morning, for them. They were out. Good. And Ian was ministering here for 25 years, and most of you here will know. So it's lovely to be able to be with us this morning. Again. And we're also very glad to have a word from Laurie Lemmets. He sent me this jazzy card, which I'll hold up to you. There we are. Nice card from Laurie. And he says, and to Frank, Minister, Session Clark, and all the elders of the members and the peers and occasional worshippers in Kamar Parish Church, most, we most heartily congratulate you on the notable and the auspicious occasion of your Tess Christen Henry. Well, you could learn a new word and again. The 150th birthday of your beautiful building from the land of Margaret and Lord. And we're also glad that the moderator of our own presentation of McCartan and Deeside can be with us today. That's me. 
<laughs> so let's worship God. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here. It would have been anyway, but it is especially so this year. I was installed as moderator of the General Assembly in May, and here we are almost in September, and this is my very first official engagement. Everything else has been cancelled until now. So I've been living in front of a computer screen and on the phone. So to see real people is a joy. So I'm very grateful to Minister Frank and to the Kip Session for the invitation to be here today on this very, very special occasion. I brought a, a gift with me for the congregation and this can either be, a, you can find a home for it or you can put it in a, a cupboard somewhere and forget about it forever, uh, whichever seems best to you. It has the moderator's crest on it and some of the Bible verses that are important to me in my year as moderator. And here underneath the map of Scotland, let me show it to Louis and Mena over here. Here we have a map of Scotland and underneath is a very special tartan that was created for this year. I'm a minister in one of the churches in our growth, and this year our growth celebrated, or should have done, if it wasn't for the pandemic, 700 years since the signing of the Declaration of our growth, when Robert Bruce and a hundred of the noblemen of Scotland signed a letter to the Pope of the day. And the history is all there, you can check out. But this carton was produced especially to recognise the 700th anniversary of this signing. And every thread in the tartan, every aspect of its pattern relates to one or other points of the history. And I will give that to Frank so that uh, you can see. For example, Robert Bruce was 32 years of age when he became king. And in one part of the tartan, there are 32 threads. So every aspect of it has been planned with the 700th anniversary of the Declaration of our group. So, as I say, this is for you, uh, for the wall and the vestry, or for a dark cupboard, uh, and whatever seems right to you. Frank, I'll, I'll hand it to you. Thank you very much. Lovely. So friends, in concluding, I bring you, Frank, as minister, in the current session of this congregation, the very warmest greetings of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. And I encourage you to be all that you're called to be now and in the days to come as the living stones of Christ. Amen. And now it's uh, my pleasure to ask you, Lady Aberdeen, as representative of those who are so instrumental in getting this building off the ground, to come and be able to do our interaction. It was a beautiful drive out this morning, I must say. I really love heading to the right over from right over from right Um uh, really, really lovely. And I must thank you, thank you all, thank you, thank you, thank you for that session, for your kind invitation, thank you, Sheila. Um, for your very kind invitation to be here. It's a delight um, and to be here to get moderated again and thank you as well. Um, my husband is looking forward to being here, and um, it is, of course, great sadness, not, but I am very honoured to represent the And I am proud, very proud, to be where John Hamilton Gordon was 150 years ago, 
gentle touch of our forebears embraces us now, enclosed as we are in this faith bequeathed by them. And we remember them kindly and lovingly. We honour their labour, their witness, their legacy now, and we dedicate once again this building to use as a place of worship to God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and pray that richest blessing might fill St. Mullerwood on each occasion of its use, whether by one who prays and meditates alone, or by the joyful crowd on high occasions of celebration, or by the mournful ones who gather to commend their loved ones to you, or in the ordinary routines, week by week, when church convenes in Jesus' name to worship you. In preaching, in praying, in praising, 
in sacrament and in serving in the building up of the body of Christ, we dedicate this house again. And this we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May you know the hope to which you have been called. May you know the power of God at work in you. And may you rejoice in the riches of Christ's body, the church. And now go in peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and those you love today and forevermore. Amen.